Hi. Do you have questions about how MongoDB acknowledges write requests made to your primary and then how that write request is actually replicated out to the secondaries? If you do, I'm here to help. My name is Rick Golba and I'm a product marketing manager here at Percona. MongoDB uses a process known as the write concern and this allows Mongo to specify how the write request is acknowledged back to the application when it is received by the primary. By default, MongoDB only requires an acknowledgement from the primary. So if you have a three node replica set, this means that MongoDB will write to the primary, the acknowledgement will be sent back to the application, and then at some later point in time, that data will be replicated out to the additional nodes in the replica set. If you want to override this, you certainly can. And you can do the override by specifying a specific number of nodes, or you can simply say majority, and that gives you a little bit more flexibility if you do look to increase or decrease the number of nodes in your replica set. On the last bullet here, you can see how you could specify a write concern of two on a specific insert. You can also alternatively specify the write concern as a configuration parameter by changing the RS config file. Here, we're using a graphic to display the differences between a write concern of one, which is the default, and a different write concern, in this case, a write concern of two. For this example, a right concern of majority would have worked similarly because we only have three nodes, so majority would have been a right concern of two. On the left-hand side, you can see with our default right concern, when we have the right coming in from the application, it is written and applied on the primary. And at that point, it is responded back to the application saying that we have been able to process that right request. At some later point, we then replicate to the additional nodes in the replica set. On the right hand side, we show with a write concern of two. And in this case, again, the uh, write request comes in from the application, is applied on the primary, but then it must be replicated to at least one of the other nodes before it can be acknowledged back to the application that the write was uh, acceptable. So why does all of this matter? Well, by default in MongoDB, both write and read requests are issued against the primary server. Now, this means that if you have a standard three node replica set, all of your writes and all of your read requests are going to be issued against that one server. That means the other nodes in the replica set are not being used for anything other than replicas of the data that is on the primary. Now, it's possible that you could choose to read from a secondary, but if you choose to do that, one of the things you need to be aware of is the concept of eventual consistency. In MongoDB, they say that the data will be eventually consistent on a secondary with the data that is on the primary. This is due to the replication lag that is going to be encountered when you're doing any sort of replication. Now, how long will it take for that consistency to be obtained? Well, that's going to vary based on your environment, the volume of data, and several other factors that come into play. There might be some situations, though, where reading from a secondary is entirely acceptable, and in some cases even preferred. If, for example, you have an application that does bulk writes of data to the database on a periodic basis throughout the day, reading from a secondary might be entirely fine. If you've done a bulk write at 2 p.m. and you're looking to do a read at 4 p.m., you know that the data has been brought into consistency on that secondary. There are also other applications where having complete and uh, full up-to-date information is less important than having some information. So in those scenarios, reading from a secondary is also something that we could look into doing. And of course, one of the benefits of reading from a secondary is that now we are distributing the load around all of the nodes. In the now you have an understanding of the concept of write concern in MongoDB. If you do have any questions, you can contact me at the email address that you see on the screen, rick.golba.